leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Prime Minister Elijah Ayodele, has given a final warning to the political gladiators in Edo State ahead of the gubernatorial election slated to take place on September 19, 2020. Prime Minister Ayodele, who is a prominent seer, had given several warnings to the All Progressive Congress and People's Democratic Party and their candidates over the last few months. Recall that he had prophesied that the candidates of the PDP, Godwin Obaseki, will emerge winner of the poll without any form of manipulation. However, he has given a further warning and advice to Obaseki on his fate in the election. In a statement on Monday, Prime Minister Ayodele called on the attention of the Edo State Governor to the fight against every form of manipulation and for him to ensure he wins during the election because any court case after the election would give him victory. While urging him not to be carried away by the crowd, he made it known that his only chance is the election and that he needs to unleash his arsenal to fight against manipulation and disenfranchisement. Ayodele said, people are supporting Obaseki but those people might not be allowed to vote. He needs to be rugged. Yes, he will be eased out. If he takes any simplicity method, he will lose out. There will be manipulations in the election. If he isn't careful, if he isn't careful, his victory will be given to someone else. Even if he appeals the case, he won't be given. He must not allow manipulations in the election. If he loses, he will be forever irrelevant in policies. They have already prepared the manipulation process to ease him out. He shouldn't be carried away by the crowd he sees at the moment. He needs to work against the manipulation technically and pack his arsenal together to battle against APC and Pastor Osage Izeyamu. They will want to steal of ballot buses. They want to disenfranchise people. He must have committed people in poll units. He shouldn't accept anything inconclusive. If he allows Eze Yamu to win, he's gone politically and jail is waiting for him. Who? Oh, he should ensure he wins because if he thinks the court will later rule in his favor after the election, it won't work. It is better he wins right from the election than taking Eze Yamu to court. The election will be violent. Talks will be used. Different methods will be used. The election will not be peaceful as expected. Obaseki should work against manipulation. That is the only thing that will give him victory. If he wins, he will become a hero and send away Godfatherism in Nigeria. He needs to listen to advice, either the one he feels is useful or not. Eze Yamo cannot win a do election except through ma serious manipulation. Primate Ayodele's prophecies and warnings have proven to be valid countless times with the confirmation of his many prophecies. In Edo State, he predicted the easing out of Obaseki from the APC primaries, removal of Adam Sushumole as the APC national chairman, and fallout of Obaseki and Ushumole among others. Hmm. So guys, uh, we have come again with uh, this uh, primate. He has said it again. But I don't know whether this is advice or maybe he's trying to look at what is happening or look at the what is happening at the terrain or oh, is seeing vision but i don't know whether this is advice you all can testify and tell us what this is all about whether it's just doing a, a normal permutations or it's just is seeing or is trying to you know talk based on what has been happening in that state what even other with other people are even uh, thinking because from what he's saying it's like this is just what is a common knowledge to everybody for those who have been monitoring the whole thing from the beginning and those who are who know how nigerian poli nigerian politics has always been well so this is a prophecy may god have mercy some nigerian pastors are gospel and corporate beggar from 1999 to date there was never an election con Doctored in a do that is not characterized with manipulation and violence. This is this not prophecy but lip service over karma law. Really, <clears throat> is it only in those states that the people have been complaining? Not only those states, across board, every state, in even at the center, people always complain about manipulations and a lot of manipulations people have seen. Well, it is not only in a do state. This man is just foiling crisis. Why did you? 
no see prophecy about a prophecy about COVID nineteen. People are always talking about this COVID nineteen. Anything they will just say, why did you not see it? <laughs> why did you not see? It? They always tell most of all these pastors, why did they not see it? Even at uh, December nine twenty nineteen, everybody was talking about prophecy. Oh, January first twenty twenty, everybody was talking about uh, what will happen uh, during the year. You know, it reminds me of a. Uh, I saw one article when people, you know, they said uh, in a particular church that they beat a pastor to a stupor for still telling them that year twenty twenty is going to be a year of, uh, you know, that people will see. Uh, experience progress even in this uh, COVID nineteen of a thing. So they beat the man according to what we we learned, whether it is true or not. But from what is in the public domain, people have been saying, "Oh, why is it that this pastor did not see that a uh, COVID nineteen was coming?" But when it comes to election, they begin to give a uh, prophecies, and some people don't believe that this is a prophecy because it's like uh, just trying to set uh, uh, parties against each other. Well, honestly, this self acclaim. Susaya so should stop making noise that could cause anarchy. How would you continue to hammer and establish a prediction which is clearly known to reasonable mind that it is biased already and that which that which may lead to civil unrest before or after the election if elections go contrary to its prediction? Mr. Yodele should keep quiet and allow all of us to await the outcome of the elections. Please, I am not I am at a loss. Let somebody tell me. Can this be referred to as a prophecy from the man of God for God's sake? Mm. He wants to have his shares of cake from the desperate governor. Azumi Obaseki loses election. Where will this man hide his face? Governor that do house assembly election at night. Mm. Man of God still supporting a uh, fake Man of God, the prophet has already been given has has been given the victory to APC, and after the result, the man will be saying this is manipulation. God show mercy. I need to unleash uh, the antenna to fight. <laughs> well, some people saying, oh, the prediction is uh, you know is speaking in favor of APC, so that at the end of the day, you not say oh it is manipulation here and there. Is this prophecy or permutation? Journalists are making this man popular by reporting all his fake prophecy. This man is not serious. This pastor, what a pity that these so-called prophets do not speak into this country, but evil all the times. I expected this man to ask for forgiveness because he has misled so many people in this country in the course of his prophecy. APC will surely win a do state. That's what somebody believes. You're supposed to know that pastor, you did it. Uh, belong to PDP. That is why I always support Obaseki and I believe it's only God that knows who is going to win the election. Of course, anything can happen. Anything can happen because the two the two candidates, they are they are very, very strong, you know, judging from their own antecedents. Uh, uh, Obaseki people said, oh, he has done this, he has done that, and with the power of incumbency. And again, the other, the other party, you can't rule it, rule it out. They talk about a federal might and, you know, give it to Eze Yamo. He has his own strong base while he was in PDP, but I don't know now. But at least from what we know from the beginning, the man has what it takes to to do the whole thing without anybody supporting him. But let's see how it goes. So it is really dicey for anybody to just say, oh, it is going to swing to this side or swing to the other side. So guys, let's hear your comments concerning what the the primates are said.